9 a.m. November the 12th, 2011, an explosion at a weapons warehouse in the village of Lovnido in Bulgaria. As a result, more than 3,152 millimeter shells were destroyed. Three warehouse workers were killed, another 18 were seriously wounded. The explosions were so powerful that the country's seismic laboratories recorded an earthquake measuring 1.5 on the Richter scale. A unit of the main intelligence directorate of the General General staff of the Russian armed forces was involved in the explosions in the Bulgarian Lovnido and at the ammunition depot in the Czech Vrbetice, as well as the in the poisoning of the Skripals in Salisbury, writes the insider. According to the author of the investigation, Christo Grozev, the GRU operates throughout Europe. They were the ones who blew up and caused casualties among civilians in the Czech Republic in 2015 and in Bulgaria in 2014. In 2015 in Bulgaria they poisoned a Bulgarian businessman who had the audacity to sell weapons to Ukraine and they poisoned Skripal. The leader of the group that carried out sabotage in the Czech Republic and Bulgaria was Andrei Averyanov. It included Nikolai Yezhov, Sergei Romanov, Rustam Jafarov, Alexei Kapinos and Anatoly Chepinov. Piga, who became famous in the Salisbury poisoning under the pseudonym Ruslan Bashirov. According to Grozev, they allegedly installed remote control explosive devices in a set of ammunition intended for shipment to Bulgaria and the Czech Republic, and then they blew them up. Thanks to the hacking of one email, we were able to obtain reports to Chief Averanov himself, which tells how they built this. Three of these drafts of these specific proposals on how to make this explosive device had been sent to him already in a photo version along with a proposal on how to hide them. According to the insider, Averyanov recruited approximately 70 young GRU and Special Forces officers in the late 2000s. This group was supposed to carry out sabotage operations abroad. Some of them ended in failure, including the poisoning of the Skripals in Salisbury. Despite this, Averyanov received the rank of general. On July the 31st, 2023, he attended one of the meetings during the Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg. Then the head of the Kremlin introduced his team of negotiators to African leaders. Among them was Andrei Averyanov. His former subordinate, Nikolai Yezhov, became the chief federal inspector of the Far Eastern Magadan region. And colleague Rustam Jafarov is now Putin's first deputy representative in the Far Eastern region of Russia. The second important sin from this investigation for me personally is that most of these people who were involved in terrorism are now a major part of the political system of Russia, of Putin. That is, they are people who receive promotion, they got a job in the presidential administration, and now they are Putin's personal representatives in the regions. This is important because it explains exactly the essence of this regime. The Bulgarian prosecutor's office is investigating the version of the involvement of the Russian GRU in explosions at ammunition depots in Lovnido in 2011, in Iganovo in 2015, and at the arms factory in Miglish in 2020. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.